Dr. Harika Upalpati, Consultant Physician, Manipal Hospital, Vijayawada. Today I would like to discuss about probiotics which are very being commonly being used these days. So probiotics and prebiotics. So what are prebiotics? Prebiotics are high fiber foods that promote the formation of good bacteria. Probiotics, live bacteria and yeast that are intended to promote good health. So probiotics, what are its uses and who should be taking it? So pre and probiotics prime candidates to assist in promoting the gut symbiosis. So who should be taking this probiotics? Those people who have recovered from the hospitalizations, who have been taking prolonged use of antibiotics. So in case of antibiotic associated diarrheas, travelers diarrheas, inflammatory bowel disease such as Crohn's and ulcerative colitis, irritable bowel syndrome, those who have allergies, those who are suffering from acne, those who have upper and lower respiratory tract infections. So apart from this, they are also used in people to promote weight loss and also for people with cardiovascular diseases and uh, they are also used in people with urogenital infections. Those who are suffering from candidiasis and other vaginal infections also can take probiotics. So what are the probiotics? So the probiotics that consist of bacteria like genus from lactobacillus and bifidobacteria. So what are the foods that contain probiotics? So they are cottage cheese kimchi, kombucha, pickles and uh, yogurt. So these are the foods that we should regularly include in our diet. Variety of chronic GI diseases like helicobacter pylori, clostridium difficile infection, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease. So the potential of probiotics in human health is very huge. So they can be used even in dental caries and it also gut brain axis. So our gut is called the second brain because it produces the hormones that are similarly, I mean like dopamine, serotonin, gamma monobitric acid that are produced by the brain. So as a result, while taking probiotics, they help in reducing the stress, depression, anxiety and improves the cognitive function, helps to boost the mood. So probiotics available over the counter in the grocery stores, in the drug stores, in the wellness stores. So as I listed, all the people suffering from the above diseases can take probiotics for over a period of time that is for three to six months. They are not intended for prolonged use but as we discussed those people who have been hospitalized, those who are on prolonged use of antibiotics and those who are suffering from chronic GI diseases can take probiotics for prolonged duration of time especially when it is related to the gut. Thank you.